Hey guys, Steven here back with another video. Today I'm going to teach you how you can recreate the Playboy Cardi Whole Lot of Red album cover. It has a very distinct style and it's actually pretty simple. It's actually inspired by the Slash magazine, which is a punk magazine from back in the day. So if you're wondering where this effect really came from, it was from that magazine. I'm going to be covering the photo effect part of things. I recently made a video on how you can sort of replicate the text effect in Illustrator. So you guys can check that out in the description but today I'm just covering the photo effect. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. I'm gonna leave a link to Photoshop in the description. Currently all Adobe applications are 60% off for students and teachers. I'm also gonna leave a link to my Discord. So yeah, with that being said, let's get straight into it. So right here, I'm on Google. I search up Lil Uzi Vert because he gets compared to Playboy Cardi a lot and you guys can see Slash Magazine um, and where this effect came from. But I'm gonna use this photo. You wanna use a portrait where you can sort of see the structure of their face. I can use any of the photos, but I thought I'd choose this one. It just looks cool. So I'm going to right click and copy it. The first thing I want to do is make a canvas that's a square. So it could be 1920 by 1920. It could be 1080 by 1080. So I'm just going to enlarge it by pressing Control T to transform. And you want to leave some space at the top for the text. Um, it's sort of going to be hanging over the top of his head right here. Next, we're going to use threshold. There's two different ways you can do this. You can use threshold or you can use posterize but I think uh, threshold is probably better for this. So depending on how strong you want this effect and how much detail you wanna show, you just wanna adjust the threshold level. And basically that's it. If you look at the cover art, um, it looks like they just smoothen out any of the noise that appeared after you apply this effect. So as long as we see his face, it's fine. So now we're gonna select the subject because we don't want the background. So we're gonna go right here where it says quick selection tool and we're gonna press select subject. If this doesn't work properly, you're gonna to have to select it manually using the pen tool or the quick selection tool. So I'm gonna press Control C to copy and then Control D to deselect. And now if I press Control V to paste, now we just have the subject here. So you can go ahead and smoothen everything out if you want. So I'm just gonna to go to the brush tool, make sure the hardness is 100 and select black. You can do this after, um, but I'm just doing it real quick now and I'm not gonna make it perfect. I'm just going to do it so you guys get an idea of what this would look like. Right here, almost everything is black, so you want to smoothen out everything. You don't want these little dots here. So this whole part of his shirt, you just want to make it black. This may be easier to replicate if you shoot your photo a certain way. Like if you expose a lot of light on your face, it might be easier to just do this effect and not have to edit it so much. But because I chose a random photo, I'm going to have to use this uh, brush tool. So this is about it. Um, there's obviously like some parts that I could have done better, but I didn't want to spend all the time on this tutorial, just painting it. Um, you would also do this on a new layer. I accidentally did it on image layer. You would do it on a separate layer just in case you wanted to hide it or adjust it. So the next thing we're going to do is create a rectangle and we want to make sure it's a round rectangle so that the corners aren't straight. So if you right click on the tool right here, you can press on rounded rectangle tool. So you can see here, this isn't necessarily a rounded rectangle. So you can actually probably do this freehand using the pen tool. And you can see the top right uh, corner is actually pointy. Um, so we can just use this as a guideline. And we can move this below the photo layer. And right here under appearance, you can adjust how round the corners are. So I'm just going to do 50. And now I'm going to right click on the photo layer and create a clipping mask. So basically, if I resize this image, it stays in this rectangle. And if you wanted to, you could rasterize this layer and you could just make small cuts in the corner using the pen tool so that it isn't perfectly round. And that's essentially the effect besides the text. The text you would just manually add it on top. And I have a whole tutorial on a similar effect for the text if you want to check that out. But I would use Illustrator for that. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If it did, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And yeah, that's about it. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.